Good morning, folks. This image and accompanying article shows a bright star burst revealing hidden forms around itself. Linked article is below. This is a noctilucent cloud animation by Pete Lawrence. It's visible on spaceweather.com. The latest news on NLCs is that they are very early this year, setting the stage for another big year of watching the phenomenon whose recent coming out party the experts just can't explain. You hear me talk about climate extremes, both ends of the scale. Well, after near record low tornadoes all year, we now know that we've just hit the opposite end of the record books, not in a good way. Had another six pointer last night, Santa Cruz Island. Also had a 5.5 in China, but this 5.3 in Hawaii is most significant. Now, while they've had way worse throughout history, this is one of the largest events of the last decade there, and indeed, you are more likely to see an 8.0 somewhere on the planet than a five pointer in Hawaii. That's significant. Folks, the Euro flooding situation, not improving much. When some rivers crest tomorrow, they're expected to nudge all time records. Germany, Austria, Czech Republic, and more. Flooding will also be a major concern for Florida as a tropical system may be developing in the Gulf. As of right now, there are no signs of organization, but I will almost guarantee the damaging flooding will accompany the storm to Florida, whether it's named or not. Quickly heading around the rest of the world satellite animations, remember all links to weather sites are in the description box and if you can't find your weather there, you don't live on Earth. Also got a tornado watch for tonight in the US at the pressure convergence as usual. We'll come to space weather with the filament cresting the northeastern limb. He got one look at Earth and made a beeline for the heavens. Coming to the solar wind, yes there is a data dropout on the 15 year old space relic known as ACE. SOHO monitors the wind as well and has coverage during that time. But to my surprise, look on the right, the coronal hole stream endures as we are still way above average solar wind speed. Electron flux also letting us know the stream isn't done yet. Sunspot development comes through with an M1 that just happened as I record the news. CME data not updated yet, but if you are watching this you can access more updated data. We have indeed been expecting an uptick with a Delta class sunspot on the disk. That's both polarities within the same sunspot penumbra on the left side of the active region. We also need to watch development on the northern hemisphere, both east and west. Umbral field remains open for a bit longer. Coronal holes are here. Energetic flux remain high. Shots of our star to close, including the best down the line shot of filamentary movement in the corona I've ever seen. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.